Hello everybody, it's Victor here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Bandai's SH Monster Arts Godzilla 1964 version. You'll receive this usually in the tan mailer box. You know, it's pretty simple. Uh, in that mailer box, you'll re you'll get the actual box once you open it. This is a very nice picture of the costume, or I don't know, it could be the figure itself. It might be the figure. You got the like glass gaze over eyes, you know, kind of weird looking. You got some stuff right there. Read that, Chogun Hazard, 2013, 1964, Bandai, Tomashi Nation. Let's look at the back real quick. Ah, nice pictures of the figure. Sweet, like it, digging it, think it's awesome. Godzilla, 1964, a bunch of read up in Japanese. Much more Japanese, some plain basic stuff all over the box. Picture of Godzilla. Camera down. Let's have a quick look at the figure itself. <clears throat> Very nice. Some good painting details to it. It's very posable. I like how they have the brownish right here. Like a greenish, almost olive drab kind of color right there in certain parts on the knees. All his uh, spines, fins, actually have like the scale tone in the middle, then like a bony outside. Very nice, very neat. Not exactly sure how accurate it is to the costume. I haven't watched any of these older Godzilla movies in quite some time. Now he does come with some decent articulation. Uh, a lot better than the first release Godzilla, I could tell you that. Which is quite nice. This one didn't come with any accessories either, so you just pretty much just get the figure itself, which isn't bad. And he is a little smaller than the the other Godzilla, so I'll do a comparison of that after. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look at the figure. Some nice detailing, like I was showing, like the brown there. The only thing I really don't like about it is the eyes, because I think they have like the actual eye in there. Then they put like a clear, like smoky, hazy, like clear plastic be over it. And I don't like that a lot because it makes him look like his eyes are like glazed over or something. It's very annoying. And he does have like a bit of a gap here between these two spines that you can't really fix and it looks a little awkward if you bend him forward. So other than that, the figure is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, let's see here. So we got the rotation, we got joint, joint, joints, so you get a good movement there, rotates all around, mouth opens and closes, got, you know, arm, elbow, wrist, movements going all over the place, it's on a ball joint, <clears throat> you got the waist, the waist right here, torso, ab section, whatever. Good movement, moves all the way around. And here you got the legs, all the way down, multiple joints again. This one could kind of move, this one some better movement. A knee that doesn't really have much movement at all, as you can see. Here you got an ankle, a toe, three toes, looks like almost like webbing in between them. And you got his tail. All the different sections in it, so you get a pretty good movement out of it. Oop, comes off. It's on ball joints, each one. Quite nice. <clears throat> Just don't uh, force it too much like I was. Oh, this, I guess kind of where it just came out, it's a little loose. So nothing a little like glue or nail polish or whatnot won't fix. But yeah, but you could get some really nice posing out of it. Let's see, there you go, that nice bend. From the back, and like, see, like, if you could really do some really nice Godzilla going on action, it's something you don't really say. Like, if you get like an X plus toy or something, vinyl figure, you can't. I mean, he's static, you know, you don't really get much out of it, but at least you get a, some good dynamic poses at SH Monster Art stuff, which is quite cool. Uh, let's see, let's do a little comparison with the first release Godzilla. Raise this up a little bit. 
As you can see, this Godzilla is quite smaller. Even though he's bent up a little bit lower. There you go. You see that? Uh, it's a lot thinner. This one's quite huge. And their tails. It's quite a difference in length. You can see. It's a little stubby tail. This one has a huge tail, longer, way longer than its body. Mm. And you got the flame effect that came with the first release of the original release, Godzilla. It doesn't fit 100% well, but you can still get it in there. So it works. Looks nice. If you have this, you know, you can like, use it with this Godzilla too if you want. Alright, so that pretty much sums up this review of this Godzilla. Do I recommend it? Yes, I do. He's very nice if you get it for a decent price. And, you know, <clears throat> you know like Amazon has it. Um, I'm not sure what, sure what import stores has it. Uh, I, I picked mine up a uh, special order from Tatsu Hobby. Uh, so you could, uh, you could try to look around, you know, see what you could find. Decent price. So, that pretty much sums up this review. Thanks for watching.